Budget 22, placed today by the Honorable FM, has a major provision which impacts deductibility of expenditure, largely for pharmaceutical companies, but many others as well. So let me highlight what the controversy was. There is an existing provision under Section 37, which says that any expenditure which is incurred for an offence which is prohibited by law will not be allowed as a deduction. There was some controversy and some decisions which held that if the offence is in respect of a law outside India, then it is not hit by the existing provision. The government has now clarified that law will include a law outside India as well. Similarly, if there is any expenditure in relation to settlement for compounding of any offence under any law which is outside India and therefore if a patent law of US is violated and there is a compounding payment for an offence under the patent law of US, that is now clarified and accordingly the same will be hit by the explanation and not be allowable as a deduction. But the most important amendment which will impact a large number of pharmaceutical companies is in relation to what is popularly known as doctor's freebies. So lot of pharma companies incur expenditure in relation to various con conferences or for other medical purposes in order to gain information relating to patients, medical conditions, diseases and these are incurred through sponsorship of various programs for the medical fraternity. Medical fraternity is governed by provisions of Medical Council of India. The Medical Council of India regulations were amended and doctors were prohibited from accepting any such benefits on account of participation in seminars, conferences, etc. The CBDT issued a circular 5 of 2012 whereby the CBDT clarified that any expenditure which is incurred in violation of the Medical Council regulations will not be deductible for the pharmaceutical companies. But pharmaceutical companies took a stand that these regulations are applicable only to doctors and for the pharmaceutical company which was undertaking such expenditure for promotion of its business, there were no applicable regulations prohibiting the pharma companies and there were a string of decisions, some in favour of the pharma companies saying that because the pharma company was not restricted from incurring such valid genuine business expenditure, uh, it could claim the same as deduction. In budget 22, there is a provision which has inserted a new explanation 3 to section 37. This new explanation 3 to section 37 has been worded as a clarificatory amendment and what it provides is that if the pharmaceutical company incurs any expenditure which will which is prohibited in the hands of the recipient in a sense that the recipient cannot accept such benefits flowing from the pharmaceutical company, then such expenditure will not be deductible in the hands of pharmaceutical company. The nature of the amendment indicates that because it is a clarificatory amendment, it will be held to be retrospective in nature and certainly there will be a significant litigation in terms of how the provision will be considered whether retrospective or prospective. 